in Matthew chapter 4 that is where we have the temptation of Jesus by the devil verses 1 to 11 let us read verse 8 again the devil took him to a very high mountain that is this mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their spreader all this i'll give all this i'll give you he said if you bow down and worship me It's Veronica and I just want to tell you the time right now look at the time the time the time is 3 38 <laughs> 3 38 in the morning and we started our journey from Tel Aviv at 12 30 right now we are at the Golan Heights at the foot of Mount Harmon and we have come to ski and to play with the snow <laughs> and uh, it's a weekend it's on a Saturday morning last Saturday this place was not opened because the because there was too much rain and a lot of snow so today there are so many people that have come to visit Mount Harmo most of the people came so that they will be able to enter inside and Mount Harmon is mentioned in the Bible so many times <laughs> so uh, me and you we are going to read Bible verses Bible verses about this mountain by the way it's the highest peak of Golan Heights and yes is it the little place where Jesus was transfigured we are going to find out so guys thank you so much and stay with me as we wait for the time to open wow guys look at that I just want to show you the the traffic all these people they are waiting for <laughs> we thought that we have come so early but no we are late yes we are late <laughs> But at least we are among the first group of people to arrive to arrive at Harmon. So, guys, Israel. Most of the places that uh, we have been traveling, we have been traveling. Me and you, especially the southern part. It's too much desert. I think 60% of Israel is desert in the southern part but today we have come to visit the northern part northern part 
it's not a uh, desert <laughs> as you can see that it's snowing you know uh, the, uh, my geography teacher used to say the higher you go the cooler it becomes <laughs> and for sure <laughs> you can see on this high mountain it's uh, for sure it's cold and it's becoming colder people come to Mount Harmon for skiing <laughs> so at least we are lucky this is our bus is the first bus of course and behind you can see <laughs> such traffic wow Peter Drews. <laughs> so guys, you know it's very early in the morning. Now it's four four thirty and I'm really hungry. So I'm eating the it's called the Drews Pita Pita Drews the cup of tea yes, I know you have your back in the car I know have a reservation will back okay again I know have a reservation will back okay. again now you call me for the car with the iPhone but you will come with me another bus so now we are here in Mount Hermon, okay? Pinaka Tuk Tuk, the last frontier of the land of Israel. And we have here another interesting place. This is uh, uh, Sea of Galilee. Now, how come all year round the water of Galilee remains? Bakit hindi ito nauubusan ng water? Because it has four sources of water. Ano yun? Number one. Alright? Pagdating ng springtime, the snow in Mount Hermon is melting. So the water is flowing down to the Sea of Galilee. So that's the first source of water. So lahat ng snow na yan, kapag natunaw yan, pababalat yan. Why? Because Mount Hermon is the highest elevation in the land of Israel. And Galilee is around 220 negative meters below sea level. So it's going down. That's why it's the Sea of Galilee, it's like a basket or a cat's basin. So everything from the high points, the water is flowing down to the Sea of Galilee. So are you getting the point? Now that's the first source of water, Mount Hermon. Now aside from that, the rainwater, the rainwater during the rainy days, not only the snow that melt, it flows down also going to the Sea of Galilee. That's why during the winter time, the water in the Sea of Galilee, it's going up. Okay, nadadagdagan siya. And then uh, thirdly, thirdly, we have here the Banyas Spring or Kesaria Pilipay. If we have time, that is included in our, in our itinerary. So, uh, Kesaria Pilipay or Banyas, this is the biggest source of water in Israel. That's why the Syria, they wanted to take over or to get back the Golan Heights. Because in the entire Middle East, this is the biggest source of water, especially when you visit the Banyas waterfalls. Huge waterfalls in the land of Israel, unimaginable. And then uh, finally, uh, uh, we have the Dan Spring, another spring here in Golden Heights. So, matas din yung elevation yan. So, Upper Galilee, and everything is flowing down here in the Sea of Galilee. And lastly, five panglima. Underneath of the Sea of Galilee, there is a natural spring that produces water. So, we have five sources of water why the Sea of Galilee remains all year round and because Galilee 
is the biggest source of fresh water in the land of Israel. You can imagine why the surrounding area is farm or plantation of different fruit crops or vegetables, indicating that Galilee, the central Galilee, is the farming or agricultural capital of the land of Israel. So all those uh, plantations in the other areas, they are receiving fresh water from the Sea of Galilee. And when the water overflows, it goes down here until Dead Sea. And this river is called Jordan River, and it divides the land of Jordan and the land of Israel. And here, this green area of uh, the country of Jordan, on the side of uh, Jordan River, this is known as the famous Jordan Valley, which is very good also in farming because the water is also along the banks of the area. And why it is called Jordan? Jordan came from the Hebrew word Yardin, which means descending or flowing down. So from around negative 200 meters below sea level, the water flows down going to the Dead Sea, which is around 460 meters below sea level. So from the negative 200, the water descends little by little until it goes to 460 meters below sea level. So from the term itself and from the geographical description, we can see why it is called Jordan River or descending river or flowing down river. So did we learn something? Yes. Mga kamatid, okay, buti pa yung, ano, yung Pilipina convert natin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christmas ninyo ha, huwag kalimutan yung inyong mga Christmas kung I don't know kung pwedeng tanggalin o dapat makalagay lang, mahalaga meron kayong Christmas dyan sa inyong bulsa Weather. 
summer, spring, winter, and autumn. Alright, sa ating mga viewers, uh, we need to travel around uh, four hours from Tel Aviv to visit this place. This is the last frontier of the land of Israel. Um, before uh, in Syria and Lebanon. So we are in the Golden Heights. By the way, I forgot to mention to you, um, in the Old Testament time, this is part of the land of Bashan. And Bashan is known as the land of the giants. But uh, they were defeated by Joshua. And uh, Joshua, with his armies or soldiers, conquered 60 cities here in the land of Bashan. So, 60 cities, 45, uh, 60, 45 cities was conquered here in the land of Bashan. Today, it is known as Golan Heights because of the highest elevation. Uh, it's nice. So. <laughs> So maganda, fresh kasi. Okay, so we are now 1,000 meters above sea level. And uh, the highest point of Mount Ramon, once again, is 2,184 meters above sea level. Wow. That's why this is the high exceeding mountain in the land of Israel. And could be the place where the Lord Jesus Christ was tempted on the third time. Good morning, Sis Lorena Baswich. And Sis uh, Davina Kingdom. Wow. wow! Imagine. That's the highest point. Alright, so. Dalakad lang po tayo pagat dyan. We are the first! Wow! Oh, yay! Hallelujah! We are the first group.
<laughs> wow, it's cold. Wow, I can't see anything. Hey, Veronica, how are you? I'm fine, but I cannot see anything. I'm trying to. <laughs> Today I think it's minus three or minus four in Hermon. <laughs> so guys, we are heading to the highest peak of Mount Hermon and we are taking the cable cars. <laughs> Almost at the top.
Wow. So just uh, died here. Wow. At the highest peak. So guys, <laughs> it's Veronica. And uh, right now, I'm at the highest peak of Mount Harmon. And uh, Mount Harmon, it borders Israel. One side, Israel with uh, Lebanon, and the other side with uh, Syria. And Mount, Har Mount Hamon is mentioned in the Bible. 
in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. And uh, in the New Testament, uh, we find that Jesus was tempted by the devil and three instances there were three times that Jesus was tempted by the devil there were three temptations the first temptation Jesus was taken by the devil to the wilderness and that is in uh, Jericho that is where we have the Mount of Temptation in Jericho then the second temptation Jesus was taken to Jerusalem and he was put and uh, he was taken to the pinnacle of the temple and then in the third instance we find that in Matthew chapter 4 that is where we have the temptation of Jesus by the devil verses 1 to 11 let us read verse 8 again the devil took him to a very high mountain that is this mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their spreader all this I'll give all this I'll give you he said if you bow down and worship me Jesus said to him away from me Satan for it is written worship the Lord your God and serve him only what happened when Jesus said this to the devil When Jesus said this to the devil, then the devil, then the devil left him, and angels came and attended unto him. <laughs> King Solomon, in the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter four, verse eight, King Solomon lights to his love, and he says. Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse. With me from Lebanon, look from the top of Amana, from the top of Senia and Harmon, from the lion's den, from the mountains of the leopards. In amplified fashion, it says, come away with me from Lebanon my promised bride may you come with me from Lebanon journey down from the top of Amana from the summit of Semia and Halmon from the den of lions from the mountains of leopard wow <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 9 it says Harmon is called Syrian by the Sidonians the Amorites called it Senior let's see why is Sidon Sidon is the third largest city in Lebanon so Mount Halmon to the Sidonians is called Syrian and the Amorites you know the Amorites used to live on this side they used to call this mountain Senior or Senior S E N I R. Wow, it's so windy. Psalms 133. How good 
and praise how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity it's like precious oil poured on the head running down on the beard running down on Aaron's beard down on the corner of his robe it is a sieve the dew of Harmon we are falling on Mount Zion for there the Lord bestows the blessing even life forevermore that is Psalms 133 in the book of Ezekiel or Ezekiel chapter 27 verse 5 After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the, blood, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. Wow. Hey, guys. <laughs> you see, most of the times we travel in the south of Israel which is desert but today we came to the northern part you see the beauty wow the other day I went and I did a video about Mount Tabar uh, the mountain that is traditionally recognized as the mountain of transfiguration of Jesus and there I remember mentioning and the pastor mentioned that Mount Harmon this place is geographically and uh, biblically proven to be the place where the transfiguration of Jesus took place why is it so? Because if you read the, the story of transfiguration before the story, before that chapter of transfiguration, Jesus was at Caesarea Philippi. That is where he called Peter a rock. That city is at the foot of Mount this mount Last time I came with this one, the Ay, small ones. Yeah. Yeah. This one I'm more scared. They upgraded. Wow. That is dangerous. It was the last time. Yes. It can get stuck. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yun na okay na. Hindi na ganun pa ano. <laughs> wow, look at that guy. Yeah. Wow, galing niya oh. Kiyo. Ang lang labas niyan, stop niyan, Tel Aviv. <laughs> You can decide to take the cable cars or just ski down here. So some people decided not to take the cable cars and they've been enjoying. Wow, the kids are so happy.
Israel most of it uh, you think it's so hot that uh, there's no winter in Israel no there is winter <laughs> and there is a ski lizard here at Mount Harmon so guys I appreciate your time and I thank you so much for watching the video it's Veronica and I will see you again in few days time <laughs> I love you yeah at least now you see it's it's hot now <laughs> you see uh, winter in Israel is so enjoyable we came so early in the morning in fact we started the journey as I told you yesterday no today at night in the midnight at 12 30 and right now is uh, almost 11 o'clock in the morning and we are done and we are going to another place <laughs> and that is it and it was so cold in the morning I was freezing my fingers were freezing my toes were freezing but right now as you can see it's sunny and we are enjoying the Sun and even I can remove my I can remove my jacket right now so guys I love you and I'll see you again in a few days time much love I appreciate your time thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel I thank you so much and please if you are there you've not subscribed to my channel please hit that red button <laughs> and uh, hit the button for more videos timely videos thank you it's Veronica I love you so much you see guys I, <laughs> you see guys how many people came to uh, to see the snow and to ski most of these people most of these buses came from Tel Aviv from uh, Tel Aviv to this place is about uh, three and a half hours drive and uh, and you have to come early very early in the morning <laughs> for you not to be closed outside yes Mount Harmon is the highest mountain in Israel and is the highest peak uh, in Goran Heights Goran Heights thank you now we are descending from Goran Heights we are descending now